The Eiffel Tower, the cuisine, the cafes, writers, philosophers, artists. Paris is a beautiful city, it's loved by all the world. But there's a need here, a side of the city most people aren't aware of. Over two million people live here. According to the Pew Research Center, about 12% of the French population are practicing Catholics. 7.5% are Muslim, 0.5% are Jewish. That leaves 48% of people who call themselves Catholic but never attend church. And almost 30% say they don't belong to any religious affiliation. Less than 2% are Protestants, and of those Protestants, only about 450,000 regular church attendees call themselves Evangelical Christians. That's 0.75% of the total French population. The National French Council for Evangelicals has a clear goal. One church for every 10,000 residents. In order to reach this goal, we would need to plant 4,200 additional churches in France today. But what about Paris? In Paris, the situation is even more extreme. As of today, there are 44 churches in Paris. That's 44 churches for over 2 million people. The problem is, when people here think of going to church, this is what they have in mind. Too many people are disinterested in the gospel because they don't know what it is. Too many Parisians don't have access to a local church. They don't have access to a community of believers. They have no opportunity to see Christians living the gospel out in loving community with one another. That's not to say that God hasn't moved. New churches have been planted over the years, and areas of Paris which had no churches now have access to gospel-centered communities of believers. But with so many people living here, it's not enough. Paris needs more churches. Churches that put the gospel of Jesus Christ on display in accessible communities of believers. To reach the goal of one church for every 10,000 people, we would need to plant 156 additional churches today, over three times more. The Procopios have decided to join what God is doing and plant a church in one of the neediest areas in Paris, the area called Châtelet. Châtelet is on the border of the first and fourth districts of Paris, which in total contain a population of roughly 46,000 people. And as of today, Châtelet has not a single viable gospel-centered community in which these people can take part. It's an area which holds a public which is active, young, and which loves art and culture. Châtelet also serves as a crossroads for all of Paris, as most of the public transportation lines converge on the subway station in châtelet Leal. Our goal is to see, between now and five years from now, a church in Châtelet which is established, active in the community, growing, and faithful to the biblical gospel of Christ. It's a daunting task. In the fall of 2014, we plan on moving our family to Châtelet to plant this church. It is one of the most expensive places to live in Paris, and one of the most gospel poor. But we believe God has children in Châtelet who do not yet know Him, and He has all the resources necessary to bring those children to Him. Too many Parisians don't know Jesus. As incredible as it seems, many of them have never actually heard the good news. They live as if Jesus doesn't exist and will die without him. Does your heart not ache? Does your soul not cry for God to speak to them and change their lives? Change is coming and God is moving. Our prayer is that he will move in today's Parisians and tomorrow's. 
Our prayer is that as more and more churches are planted in Paris, the roots of the gospel will sink deeper and deeper, and that God's glory will be seen by everyone in the capital, and in the whole of France, and in all of Europe, and in the whole world. Hear us cry and I-